alarm clock started to ring as you slowly started digging your face into the pillow while covering your ears with its sides. So annoying. Ah, you angrily threw the pillow towards the alarm clock making it drop on the floor which made it finally shut. You exhaled heavily and again went to sleep. Who the hell discovered these alarm clocks? You were about to sleep when that same pillow came flying to you and hit your head. Ah, yeah, who is it? You said rubbing the sides of your head and looked ahead to see your bestie coming inside the room. You're death because I think you really have a death wish these days. She said pulling the blanket. Oh, it's cold. She picked the alarm clock and made you look in it. Only 5 minutes left and we'll successfully miss the last bus for the fourth time this week. Your eyes widened as you looked at her. No, I don't want to walk those extra miles. Then get your lazy ass up and get ready quickly. You nodded. Please take out my uniform and pack my bag. You said running inside the bathroom while she sighed and shook her head. Lord save her. Looks like we made it on the time. We still have wait. You check time in your phone. Yeah, it's 7:20. We still have 10 minutes. She nodded while avoiding eye contact with you. I think that watch is a bit ahead of time. You glared at her. Or you change its time? She finally looked at you. Yes, because I don't want to get late every day. You poked your inner cheeks. such an evil friend oh i didn't even comb my hair i'm looking like a ghost you can do that here until bus come you again glared at her while she looked away i'll take my revenge from you you looked around and a car stopped in front of you because of red light its window was black so you noticed your reflection and a gasp left from your mouth holy cow i'm looking like a crap yeah give me a comb nancy gave you the comb as you said your hair and fixed your bangs looking at your reflection you extended your hand while nancy looked you confused what your lipstick are you crazy you know that lipsticks are not allowed in school you looked at her they cannot take every rights from us you said dramatically while she sighed and gave you that you again looked in the window and applied the lipstick so beautiful You cupped your face and winked at your reflection. I feel like I'm getting beautiful these days. The bus is here. Let's go. You looked at the bus and before leaving, you kissed on the glass, leaving the mark of your lips without realizing that someone is sitting inside and watching all your activities. You both finally come in the class. Hi, Vyan. Wow, you are looking gorgeous today. Nancy smiled at you when you both sat on your chairs. Same goes to you. In fact, you always look dashing. Other guys started to make noise teasingly while you sat on your chair smiling. Guys, get back to your seats because we have accountancy class. She said coming inside the class while looking at the schedule in her phone. No, all of you said annoyingly. I don't want my morning to start with Mr. Wong's boring lecture. Can we get a PE class instead? I didn't revise anything he taught yesterday. Neither I did my homework. Lord, please save me from that angry bird. Don't worry, I'm here. I will protect you. You rolled your eyes. Felix sits right be- behind you, and all the time he tries to impress you, but you only like him as a friend and nothing more. I seriously don't want your help in standing outside the class. He pouted. Suddenly everyone went silent when the door opened indicating that the teacher is already here but it was a shock for everyone to see a young and handsome guy walking inside the class and you were on the other another level of imagination Your mind brought you in your imagination where he's standing at the aisle wearing a proper suit waiting for his bride that is you coming towards him but not until he start to speak bringing you back in reality Hello everyone I know you might be confused right now seeing me standing here but let me introduce myself his voice was like a song to you and you just got lost in him not only you but most of the girls are were eyeing him the same way as you and why not when he's so hot 
My name is John Jungkook and I'm your new accounts teacher. I'm only here as a contract teacher until Mr. Wong recover from his illness. So I hope you guys will go well with me and I will try my best to be a good teacher. He said flashing a smile. You're already hot as hell. He looked at her annoyingly because you knew she'll definitely gonna try to get close to him. Jungkook shook his head and turned towards the board but he again turned back with his, when his eyes fell on you. You got a little nervous when he looked at you raising a brow slightly while the corner of his lip was curled up slightly. He again turned back to the board while smiling. Looks like the new teacher already became a sensation in the entire school. Not gonna lie, he's hella handsome, but I don't understand why girls are. She stopped and looked at you who was in her own dream world. Can you please stop behaving more weirdly than you already are? He looked at her. Nancy, did you saw how handsome he is? Oh my god, my heart. See, can you feel? He said putting her hand against your chest. You better stop before you leave heartbroken. You left her hand and looked at her. How can you say that? Didn't you saw how he looked at me? I think we can be in relationship if we try. I mean, he's only here as a contract teacher, so we can date if we try. She rolled her eyes. Oh, my cutie pie's imagination is getting wild day by day and also out of reach. She said, pinching your cheek and walked ahead while you pouted and followed her. Make fun of me, but I'll show you. Okay, so this is your homework and I don't want any excuses tomorrow. No one will tell me that they left your homework home or their dogs and cats ate their homeworks. Understand? You all laugh silently looking down. Okay, I need someone to help me in carrying these notebooks to staff room. You quickly got up. I'll do that. Everyone looked at you shocked and so Mrs. Chung. What a surprise. Well, well, it's good that you started taking interest in studies. Let's go. You nodded and picked half notebooks. You never do this stuff but you knew you'll go get to see Jungkook in staff room and at this point, you want nothing but just see him until your eyes lose their power to see. You sure you'll carry them? He nodded and walked outside the classroom. You peeked inside the room before coming inside. It was all empty leaving you disappointed. Why it's empty? You were about to walk it but stopped when you saw Jungkook standing in front of you. Your cheeks and ears turned red. You were about to fall back but he quickly catched you by your waist. Are you okay student? The moment his hand touched you felt like you'll passed away but you hold yourself and stood up straight yes i'm fine even your voice was not coming out properly he nodded and walked towards his chair while you went to mrs jung's place and put all the notebooks there while your eyes are only on jago You stayed there until he lifted up his face and looked at you, making you quickly look away in embarrassment. Do you need something? You looked at him and shook your head. Um, no. And you quickly ran away from there while he chuckled, shaking his head. Stop before you completely lost your mind. Try to understand my feelings, Nancy. I'm in so much love with him. Oh God, I never thought accountancy will become my favorite subject. Nancy, please tell me what do I do? How can I start talking to him? Who do you want to talk to? He said popping up from nowhere while you rolled your eyes and walked away. Meanwhile, Felix looked at Nancy. What happened to her? She sighed and looked at him. Same that happened to you. Just a friendly reminder. You better stop going after her because she's never going to give a damn about your feelings. She patted his shoulder before walking away, leaving him confused. Or she just blabbered. He shook his head and left. I have to go to piano class so you have to go home alone. You nodded while your attention went towards the parking lot where the same black car was standing that you saw earlier at the bus stop. Do any of our teacher brought a new car? She followed the direction of your eyes. It's the same car as bus stop where we, you were doing your makeup looking in it. 
you gulped and looked at her. I hope it doesn't belongs to any of our teacher and especially the PE teacher or else I'll be dead. You are safe because it belongs to none of them but Mr. John Jungkook. Your eyes widened as you quickly looked ahead and saw Jungkook opening the door before sitting inside it. Oh no, God, please say he didn't saw anything. Now I got why he was looking at you that time. Your cheeks turned red in embarrassment. Why God, why it has to be me in all the embarrassing situations? Next day. Jungkook was teaching in the class and you were just lost in admiring him. He looked at you a few times while explaining the chapter but you were just too busy looking at him. A slight smile was plastered on your face. Okay, so I hope you guys clearly understood how to balance a balance sheet. He looked at everyone and then at you. Vyan, would you like to tell me what I've just explained? You snapped back as if you woke up from a dream and looked at Jungkook. Um, me? He nodded. Um, uh, you pressed your lips together in embarrassment because you didn't even heard a word. Explaining is, is too far. Anyone else? He said, looking around while Yuki got up and answered. Jungkook smiled and nodded. Well done. Okay, everyone, I want you to practice as much as question as you can so that this concept will be clear. And you, Miss Yen, you looked up at him. I want to see you in staff room after the class. He collected his stuff and left while Nancy looked at you. You okay, Vyan? You sighed and sat down. I'm feeling so stupid right now. She patted your shoulder. You peeked inside the room and saw Jungkook going through some files. He noticed you. Come inside. You straightened up and set your hairs a little bit before coming inside. Why did you call me, sir? He arranged a bunch of sheets and spoke looking at his computer screen. Seeing your past records, I found out that you were an excellent and a bright student then. He looked at you. Why did there's a massive drop in your performance? You rolled your eyes to the other side. Any specific reason or you have lost interest in studies after coming in the senior year? There's nothing like that. You mumbled scratching the back of your neck but he heard it. Means we just need to work on your interest. Here. He gave you a few papers as you took them from his hand confused. What is this? You have to finish these questions before the school get over. You looked at him with wide eyes. But how am I gonna do that? I don't even know how to solve these. He looked at you. Don't worry, I'll help you. You smiled internally and nodded. Sit on that chair. You nodded and sat on the chair beside him. Time passed and all you were doing is to look at him but you looked down whenever he looked back at you. You better start solving the question because I won't let you go like that. He said without looking at you. I have no interest in leaving from here. You smiled thinking it inside your mind and looked at the question before rolling your eyes. Um, Mr. John, how to solve this? You said showing him the question. There's nothing much to do. All you have to remember is that you have to record all your assets, liabilities and equity. If the sum of both the sides of the equal sign are same, your sheet is balanced. You didn't even heard a single thing because you were busy admiring the face from this close. He finished up and looked at you. Did you get it? You snapped back and nodded. Yes, I understood what I have to do. He sighed. Okay, then solve it. You nodded. After some time, you again looked at Jungkook. Um, can I ask you something, Mr. John? He looked at you a bit confused and nodded. Sure. You took a silent breath before speaking. How old are you? You both looked at each other silently for some time before he broke the eye contact and looked away. 
Um, uh, why you wanna know my age? It's a little personal question. Uh, because you still look like a college student. He looked at you. Luckily, Nancy came there and Jungkook seems a bit relaxed, but not you. Why and if you are done, then can we go? You bite your lower lip, glaring at her. You should focus on studying. Did you complete the... You passed him the papers. Done already. He looked at you surprised. You pick up your bag and smiled a little. See you later, Mr. John. You walk towards the door while glaring at Nancy. Yeah, what's up with that look? She said being all confused. You never want happiness in my life. Always wrong entry. You both left while Jungle chuckled. Why it's holiday today? Oh, I hate Sundays. You said throwing your legs. How I'm going to live without seeing him? Oh, I will go crazy. Your eyes fell on Nancy who just come inside the room and laid down on her bed which is unusual of her until she's sick. Hey, what's up girl? Are you okay? You said walking near her bed. I got my periods. Oh no, it's okay. Lay down and relax. Today I'll do all the work. Thanks sweetheart, but can you please buy me sanitary pads? We are running out of them. Don't worry, I'll go to the convenience store and also I'll buy you a lot of chocolates and snacks. Oh, thank you. I love you so much. You laughed a little. I need to be ready to handle your mood swings. She pouted. Shopping alone is such a task. Oh God. You were just grabbing the packets of ramen and throwing inside your cart. Whoa, they already have this chocolate. Wow. I was dying to try it. Finally. You tried to reach to it because it was in the top shelf. What the hell? I think I won't get my hands on it. Why? I'm not tall. You started fake crying when a hand came from behind you and took that chocolate for you. You turned around and your breath hitched when you saw Jungkook standing in front of you. He passed you the chocolate. You don't have to cry over a chocolate. You took it from his hand. Thank you. By the way, are you also here for shopping? What do you think? You bite your lower lip. <laughs> I know it was a stupid question. He chuckled and then looked at your cart filled with snacks. Came alone? Where's your friend? She's not well today so I came by myself. By the way, can you please get a few more crisps? I have to buy and stop. He chuckled. Are you gonna buy all this stuff? You nodded. Why did you ask? How you gonna take it to your house? That's when it hits you. Oh shit, I forgot I came here by bus. It means I have to carry all this stuff by myself. Aish, he chuckled. You do everything mindlessly without thinking about the consequences. Yeah, but it's okay. It's going to be a hardcore workout. He chuckled. I'll give you a ride. He looked at him surprised as you could feel hundreds of butterflies in your stomach. That's so nice of you. He smiled. This Sunday turned out to be the best one for you. Jungkook sat on the driver's seat and closed the door. Wear your seatbelt. Yes, you were smiling internally. What the hell is wrong with it? What happened? The seatbelt is not coming out. I think it got stuck. Let me see. You literally stopped breathing when he came so closer to you. you your heart felt like coming out of throat. He was trying to pull the seatbelt but his face was just an inch away from you. You just wanted to know which perfume he uses because the smell became your new favorite. Why it's not coming out? He was trying to pull it while you were admiring his face which was the best view to see in the entire world. His sharp jaws which tensed up as he was applying force to pull it out. His perfect lips and nose, everything was so perfect and mesmerizing. Okay, it's done. He then looked at you who was lost in him and he quickly backed away and swallowed. You can wear it. You snap back and looked at him while your face turned red in embarrassment. Actually, I don't know how to wear seatbelt. He looked at you flustered while you nodded. He released a breath and clipped your seatbelt while you smiled. Shall we go now? You nodded. What? Are you serious? 
she says stuffing her mouth with chocolate nancy today is the best day of my life oh god he was so close to me ah oh, you said covering your face He was pulling out the seat belt not did it for purpose you are crazy you know that he is our teacher right how can you decide to propose him he looked at her what kind of friend you are you should encourage and support me instead you are demotivating me she said i'm telling the truth you'll never gonna find anyone like me i don't want you to leave heartbroken i know what is best for you Then why aren't you understanding my feelings? I think he also likes me. She gave you a weird look. Okay, go on. I'm here for you to give you my shoulder. You rolled your eyes. I'll prove you wrong. Yeah, yeah. He threw a pillow at her. Okay, calm down. Calm down, Wayne. Confidence. What are you doing here? You flinched when he suddenly came up. What are you doing here? He looked at you. I asked you the same question. It's none of your business. He raised his brow. Why so rude? He you joined your hands. Please leave me alone. Why are you acting weird? I don't know, but can you please leave me alone for some time? He looked at you for some time. Only if you agree to go on a date with me. You gave him a weird look, but you just wanted him to leave, so you nodded because you wanna go inside before any other teacher came. Okay, now please leave. Okay, did you just got agreed? Yes, now leave before I change my mind. Wow. Okay, thank you. And he left from there while you signed. You fixed your hair before going inside. You looked around to make sure that it's only Jungkook is in the room. You slowly closed the door behind you and walked near him, but was so nervous at the same time. He looked at you when he noticed your presence and smiled. Good morning. You bowed your head slightly as your heart was beating so fast and you didn't even know how you'll gonna confess your feelings to him. When you stayed silent there, he again looked at you. Do you need something? It's already class time. Let's go. He grabbed the files and got up ready to walk, but you grabbed his hand, making him look at you confused. You realized what you are doing, so you quickly left his hand as the air became so awkward around you. Um, Mr. John, actually, I want to tell you something. I mean, I have something to confess. He didn't say anything and was just looking at you. Taking a deep breath, you decided to gather up your courage and confess what you wanted to. You opened your eyes and straight looked at him. Without caring about anything, you came closer to him and stood up on your toes before kissing him. His eyes widened while you backed away after kissing him. I like you, Mr. John. He kept trying not to react much. You shouldn't have done that. You looked him surprised, but I love you, and I want to be your girlfriend. He sighed. You are too young for that. You should rather focus on your studies. No, I'm not. I'm in my perfect age of dating a guy. Yes, but not a teacher who is way more older than you. I know you are not, and even if you do, age doesn't matter in love. Yes, sometimes it's not, but still you should date a guy around your age at this moment, and not a teacher. He got irritated. What's wrong in dating a teacher? And you are only a contract teacher. I'm not interested in guys around my age. I love you. Let's go to the class. We are getting late. He grabbed his hand, making him again look at you. I've seen so many times your student and teacher date. Then why can't we? I'll become a complete adult in few months. Why, please? He sighed and turned towards you. 
you probably seen them in movies and even if in real it's a distraction so first finish your studies then we'll think about it think about it i won't be able to sleep if you don't give me a proper answer let's wait for some time until you graduate okay maybe it's just your attraction no it's not i seriously love you try to understand he sighed okay then i'll wait for you until you graduate your face brighten up as you couldn't believe really you'll wait for me he nodded thank you you said hugging him while he chuckled well we don't know if they'll be together or not but honestly tell me guys we all have that point of time in our lives when we had crush on our teacher and we try to imagine all these things well this story is 50% imaginary and 50% real cuz i have friends who dated their teachers so tell me if this happens to you or not and if teacher is john jungkook then uh um, i'm not blaming anyone Thank you for watching.